Hello, hello guys. My name is Mr. Paul and thank you so much for tuning into this video. Now for today, we're going to be finishing off this video. Now on my last video, I ended here. So I was doing paper five. So for today, we're going to be looking at the bottom half of paper five. So we're going to be looking specifically at each question. So we're going to be trying to figure out the answer to the question. And we're also going to be discussing the various uh, answers that we have, which one is correct and why this one is not correct and stuff like that. So uh, before we begin, please do make sure that you subscribe to this channel and if you find this uh, information in this tutorial helpful, please do make sure that you give this video a like. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Now let's begin. Now, which car goes last? So we're looking at the car that goes last year. We have three cars, car A, car B, and car C. Now, which car goes last? Now, just by looking at this, you can easily see that the car that goes last year has to be car C. Now, why does it have to be car C? Okay, so just by looking at this, you can also see that car A gives the right way to car C, and car C gives the right way to car B. Now, car B has nothing on its right, right? So car B is the first car to go then car a will take advantage of the movement of car b so car a and car b they move at the same time right then the last car to go is to be car c so the last car to go here is to be car c now moving on to the next question to drive an agricultural tractor in zimbabwe the minimum age required is is it 16 years old is it 19 years old or 18 years old well what you need to know about agricultural tractors so let me just highlight that one highlight that text so what you need to know about agricultural tractors is that they are in class 5 so class 5 that's where we have farm and construction vehicles and that's where we have our um, combined harvesters our payloaders our all the construction vehicles and also including the tractor now for you in zimbabwe for you to drive a class 5 vehicle you need to be 18 years or older so this is one is our correct answer here 18 years or older now let's move on to the next one when changing lane you option a signal change lane and check blind spot b signal check blind spot and change lane c change lane and signal after well this one is a very simple one but i want you to understand the concept of answering this question so first you need to signal right so after you have signal then you cannot change lane without checking the blind spot so what you do is you signal then you check the blind spot and if the blind spot is clear then what you do is change lane so what is the blind spot the blind spot is simply the portion that is not covered by your mirrors right so what you need to do is just to check blind spot before you change lane it's much safer that way but if you change lane uh, without checking the blind spot now that can be very dangerous so that's why that's why this option is incorrect so let's just, just cancel it so let's just cancel it like this now moving on to the next one hand signals are used so i link it hand signals here so there are quite a lot of hand signals uh, especially when you are a new learner option a by learner drivers only b to emphasize the driver's intention c only when turning right so hand signals are used to emphasize the driver's intentions so it is not only for learner drivers so even if you are an experienced learner driver you can actually use those end signals to actually uh, emphasize your intentions on the road okay now let's move on to the next one in zimbabwe's highway code the general rule is to option a overtake on the right b overtake from between lanes if possible c overtake from whichever side is safe to do so well in zimbabwe highway code it says you overtake from the right overtake from between the lanes if possible now this one is not allowed so don't even try it so this one is what is called an, an illegal maneuver now the next one overtake from whichever side is safe to do so now we see this type of maneuvering in in a situation a situation when you are trying to overtake an animal drone wagon so when you're trying to overtake an animal drone wagon that is when you overtake from whichever side is safe to do so so uh, which makes this answer incorrect now let's move on to the next one the color of an oil plate are 
so you know what an ear plate is right that's a lanus that's a lanus that's a lanus symbol right okay is it white on red background or red on yellow background or red on white background wow well this one is very simple and this one is a red on white background now moving on to the next one when approaching a tunnel or a flyover i must pay attention to so here yeah, you're approaching a tunnel and a flyover now a tunnel here yeah, you usually have to pay close attention to your height and your width option a height and length restriction option b height and width restriction c height and weight restriction so when you're dealing with a tunnel or a flyover it's most basically that you would pay attention to your height because you're dealing with the tunnel right and also your width yeah. so these are the kind of things that you need to pay close attention your height and your width now moving on to the next one this road sign indicates so is it a weight restriction or a width restriction or a height restriction well we can easily see that this one is a height restriction so this one is a pretty simple one right so this one is a height restriction why because we have this a uh, these triangles facing each other and they are facing each other like this right so you can easily see that when you we are dealing with uh, something that is like this you're dealing with a uh, height but if it the triangles were facing each other in this direction now we are dealing with width now okay we can't even talk about uh, weight because weight is usually associated with a t uh, which basically means turns okay so weight definitely is incorrect there so is width now moving on to the next one you see a person being knocked unconscious in the road accident what action do you take should you call the ambulance or a check for clear breathing or report to the police as soon as possible well if you see a person that is knocked unconscious in a road accident the basic thing that you do is to check for breathing right so you check for breathing okay guys we have come to the end of this video thanks so much guys for watching now this was the finale of paper five now in the next video we are moving on to paper six so this is the paper that we're going to be looking at so please you make sure that you you watch out for that one and if you have any questions regarding on any of the topics that you've discussed here please do make sure that you let me know in the comment section and i will help you wherever, however i can anyways guys thank you so much if you enjoyed this please do make sure that you give this video a like and also subscribe to this channel if, if you haven't done so anyways thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video goodbye